Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, hey, don't miss today's show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a powerful show. we got a lot to talk about in the Middle East. Uh, John Kerry has just met with Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, the Hezbollah commander was assassinated, and now Hezbollah says Israel did it. Uh, there is, we have a U.S. congressman saying we should go ahead and just nuke Iran's nuclear facility. And we have information that there has been some secret discussions between the United States government and the Iranian government on their nuclear program behind everybody's back. So we've got a lot to talk about. And the French are coming to the rescue of the Christians. Uh, that's going to be very important. So I'm going to get to all of that. So don't miss the show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. But don't. But our guest will be Jesse Waltman from BP Earthwatch, and he's got some powerful information on Ison. Don't believe it when they tell you Ison's just a puff of dust. He's got visual camera proof. Now, if you look at one lens, it looks like as it's leaving the sun that it's slowly going into dust. But that's because as the further the comet Ison goes from the sun, the less light is reflecting on it as it travels. But when another camera, the exact same camera, but take out the light and run with a negative, it shows you that comet Ison is just as big, just as strong as it ever was. It's just going further from the sun and coming toward the earth. It's not going to hit us, guys, but it's debris trail. It's, its tail and debris trail is enormous with huge rocks and meteorites in it. So we're not out of the woods yet. We've got to see how that all plays out. He's going to give us the official breakdown, the scientific breakdown. Matter of fact, let me just play a little bit now as he uh, discusses. Oh, 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 and we're going into, I forgot about this. We're going into the Gemini meteor shower from today. Uh, December the 5th through December 13th or so, we're going to be going through a meteor shower because of, out of the Gemini uh, and the Comet 46P along with Comet Wirtenden, Wirtenden and they're going to be like a crossfire and we're going to go through that crossfire. I, I'm not as worried about that. I mean, that might be a spectacular show. Jesse can tell us more about it. I'm more concerned with the Comet Ice and Debris Trail that we've never been through, and obviously NASA's not telling us just how big it is. Now, uh, let me play for you right now some information. Here is, uh, Jesse will tell you more about the meteor showers that we're going through right now, uh, as it's starting tonight, really. But uh, let him tell you a little bit about Comet Ison and why Ison is still alive and still big. Here's Jesse right now from one of his YouTube videos he did last night. Here's the audio. December 4th, 2013. Guys, these are the newest images that we have that are from the Sechi HI-1A camera. You can see ice sun rising in the top right as Mercury comes down. Now, ice sun has not changed its size, and I'm going to show you the images that we were catching as it was leaving the CRO-2. It's getting further away from the camera, and I'll show you that on the 3D model. But we've got some rocks inside that field. It seems to be fading into a dust pattern. You but see that, not. guys? It is not. It is not. It is getting further away from the sun, so we're not getting the light reflection. It is getting further away from the camera, so we're not getting the distance. This in the green image is what's inside it. Some of these rocks are miles and miles wide, guys. We've done the analysis on it. You see ice on coming here. Now, that's Mercury, excuse me, Earth's in the very center of the screen. Now, what we've got is ice on is coming straight up. Earth is going to be moving to the right and come under it. This is a close-up of it. Again, this is the same stereo eight camera. Ice sun is not getting smaller. It's not getting dimmer except for the apparent light. We have the same large objects that are going to be coming over the Earth. Now, also, some of the things we need to think about at this point is we've got the moon and we have Mercury involved in both passages as ice sun comes over the Earth and as we go through the debris trail in January. Notice this is today's date. I'm doing the video at 7 p.m. tonight, Central Time, December 4th. 
Now, I'm going to turn it straight down. So, and, and I would highly recommend you go watch that YouTube video. The name of that YouTube video, he did it last night. It's called Ison Update. Large debris moving fast. Large debris moving fast. Now, he will be our guest today. You don't want to miss the show, so I'm going to break it down. Because you know what he said. Comet Ison is not going, it isn't turning to a puff of dust like NASA would want you to believe or like some of the other folks would uh, comment on. It's just because it's fading away from the sun. It doesn't look as large. But he took the same exact images and put it in a negative, and when you watch it, it's just as big. And this thing is huge. It's huge, and it has a ton of debris, meteorites, asteroids, all kinds of rocks and dust and everything behind it that we got to pass through. And he just threw in another part. Oh, by the way, while we're passing through that debris field, we got to deal with whatever's run, flinging around with the moon and Mercury. We're kind of going to go through the same passage, but more. It's mostly comet Ison. But it affects ice, and of course, when you have the gravitational pull of the moon and Mercury as it goes by. Now, here's the thing about this. We do know that Comet Ison's not one big rock. It's about 21, and that's what I counted. That's my number. 21 rocks make up the big nuclei, and then millions of other rocks, smaller ones. And then you got millions of asteroids and, and meteorites behind it in the debris trail. So I'm going to be asking uh, some uh, questions to Jesse. What about those 21 big rocks? Do they, are they going to continue to spread apart? Or have they spread apart and that's it and they've neutralized? Is there some kind of a electronic, uh, electromagnetic pull that's now created this nuclei of 21 rocks? Can he tell us more about that? And another thing about the 21 that I keep thinking about is I remember when Daniel was praying and asking for an answer from God. And for 21 days, he didn't get an answer. And God said, I heard you the first time, but I've been uh, fighting the prince of Persia up here. In other words, the spirit of the devil. Uh, and just throwing that out, there's a story you might want to read just to learn more about the, the principalities and the powers of spiritual wickedness in high places and how that Satan is the prince of the air. You need to understand, there's a war going on up in the stratospheres, not just here on Earth, okay? Just keep that in mind. I'm going to be bringing all of this out. It's going to be a powerful show. Jesse Waltman will be our guest. Today's show at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. You don't want to miss it. From 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, live at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go to the live uh, show page. When you get there, you'll see a camera video just like I am here, live with a live chat room right next to it that you can participate in. And if you want to get saved, you can even say, I want to be saved. And you can accept Christ. I'll pray with you today. If, if the Lord is speaking to your heart and you want to be born again, you can also listen to this broadcast on Blog Talk Radio or live, or you can listen to it on the archives later uh, this evening whenever it's posted, which it will be. Or if you're traveling and not going to be home, but you don't want to dare miss the show, if you've got a cell phone, just dial the number 347-324-5208. That's 347-324-5208, and you can listen to all three hours right there on your cell phone anywhere uh, that you may be. Driving down the highway, truck drivers. We got truck drivers now listening every day, and they're getting on the breaker breaker one nine, and they're telling other truck drivers, "Hey, turn on, call this number on your cell phone. You can listen to three hours of Bible prophecy, keep you up to speed what's going on in the current world events around the world and how it relates to the Word of God." I'm telling you, this thing is spreading like fire. God is saving people. We're in the end time harvest. Let's get them saved. Don't miss today's show. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.